All right, friends, so today we're gonna practice lowercase w, which is just the same as capital W, but just a little bit smaller. So remember, capital W went clack, 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 clack. Lowercase w does the exact same thing, but it's just a little one, right? Clack, 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 clack. So when we use our lines for capital, we were using the top line and we were going all the way down to the bottom line. For lowercase, we're just gonna be using the dotted line and the bottom line. We're never gonna be touching that top line. So watch. Clack, 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 clack. That is the proper way to do your W. Let me show you some that are wrong. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Your mom is going to, and your dad is going to tell me if you don't close your eyes. All right. Keep them closed. All right, open. Is this Jenna's paper or is this Alina's paper? They weren't listening again, were they? I told them that this is the proper way to make a W. So this one looks like it has boings, doesn't it? Now, some people, when they write W, they like to make it curve like this. That's a perfectly okay to make a W, but if you do it like this, it has to still be squished between the dotted line and the bottom line. But we're gonna do them today with clacks, not with boings. Clack, 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 clack. This one, the clacks are going below the dotted line and W's do not hang down. They do not have a tail. They stop at the dotted line. Clack, 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 clack. This one, these two look great, but this part is going too tall, too high. It's squished between the dotted line and the bottom line. Clack, 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 clack. This one looks like somebody lost control of their hand. It looks like very wobbly and a little bit messy. Maybe somebody pushed them when they were working or wiggled their desk. This one, Okay, but it's a little bit squished together. We want to give it a little bit more space, right? And this one, this part looks good, but then this one's going way off to the side. He's flying off. Clack, 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 clack. All right? That's what you're going to do. Just like yesterday. Just like yesterday. You're going to practice clack, 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 clack. Then you're gonna go from the bottom up. Clack, 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 clack. Then from the top down, clack, 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 clack. From the bottom up, clack, 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 clack. Practice your W. Down, up, down, up. You are gonna use a pencil when you work, right? I'm using a marker so you can see. You're also going to do your maze today. Remember, your maze is being connected from capital to lowercase. It has to be connected. There can't be any blank spaces. Some friends were asking me yesterday what they missed. And you are you have to make sure it's connected. It's a maze. You can't get from here to here jumping. You have to go connected. And then when you're done, you need to make sure you read your words to a grown-up. Right? Okay.